And yeah, that's part of competition. You know, but competition of crowds. All right, game one. All right, we got Shears Pikachu instead of a Yoshi Ditto. So let's let's see what it can do here. Like this is really hard neutral for Yoshi to win, but his combos are still really strong on Pikachu. Although not not quite as strong as on Fast Forward because it's up tilt. Uh, Again, with a set knockback, sends Pikachu too high to outright combo and up into uh, up smash. Oh, no jump. That sucks. Yeah, I, this matchup, um, from watching it at Apex, is basically Pikachu has such a strong neutral, but he has to win the neutral twice. He can't really kill Yoshi easily, like most other characters can, because he doesn't have the strong hit that you need. Forward smash is kind of one of them, but like they already have to be high percent, so you have to get them twice before you can kill Yoshi. But for Yoshi, he just has to hit Pikachu once. Yeah. It's a done deal. <laughs> and that does so much damage. And the thing is, like, there's nothing Yoshi can do in a situation. Yeah. Because he's not in hit stun, so I'm pretty sure he can't actually smash DI that. Um, he can't attack back because he's facing the wrong way. And it'll just... Uh, it'll it'll uh, break his jump instantly if he tries to attack out of yeah, it. Yeah, because it's like a multi-hit. It's like yeah. super fast. Like, multi-hit moves are definitely really good against Yoshi's double jump armor. And that move does like 30 damage if every kit connects. It's crazy. Alright, extra opportunity for, for uh, Wizrobe. Nice corner DI. Oh, well, it didn't matter though. It's a great punish. Damn, yeah, this I is I'm not... Impressed. I did not expect this. Yeah, okay. Was he like the heavy favorite of this tournament? But we didn't see him down. Maybe taking a, a note from a boom fan here. In his Apex win. Nice See, look there. how much damage that did. 21. Doesn't even matter if you yeah, got out of it. There's nothing that Wizzy can do. I think Wizzy's struggling to find openings here right now. Damn. So uh, Wizzy went for a um, like a platform poke up smash, kind of like um, tipping with Moth under the platform in melee. Yeah. And that's oh, that's death. a really good conversion. That weak neutral air. Set up for the forward tilt into a forward air. And that was actually the only thing I could think of that would have uh, gotten a KO off of that combo setup. So. Shout out to Sir Sapphire for donating $5. He says, hey, fuzziness, I'm really confused. Why isn't Mort the chicken in this game? Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Shout out to Prof, Prof, P-R-O-F, donated $20 and said, cheers from the UTEP official Smash Bros Club. Also, shout out to Marthboy4462, donating $15, says, I love Smash Bros. The so, wheel. Yeah, thanks for the donations, guys. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. Yeah, and you know, during the donations, you see Wizzy actually uh, wow. erasing Sheer Manus' lead entirely. Wizzy's like, you know what? I'm just going to take free stocks from you now. I'm bored. <laughs> Let's step it up. Yeah, Bring out the like championship mentality, you know? Top player. Yeah, there she accidentally did a back throw. See, he reacts to that tough throw. Or a forward throw, rather. But, yeah, that time, the neutral B did not result in losing a stock. That's it. Wow. The angled forward tail said knockback. Just like, uh, even in melee, melee fox, his forward tail is exactly the same as that as well. And in 64. A lot of angled forward tails in 64 have said knockback. Nice punish. But Yoshi's able to jump out of that one. Oh, uh, up tilt barely missed. Pikachu's back are spacing around it. <laughs> I just love seeing the score of Yoshi when that's going on. It looks <laughs> yeah. so funny. <laughs> looks so it's painful. Like, looks like he's in pain, but also not in pain at the same time. You know, and Sheer being a Yoshi main himself, I bet he knows this matchup like really well from Yoshi's side. So he knows what to do against Yoshi. I feel like Wizzy should have just went for the up smash on another platform there to win the game. Oh, oh man, he tried I to get the turn around. It's so hard. That was such a good game from Sheer, but it just fell apart when he had a massive lead. Yeah, he he didn't have to go for that recovery option at the end. He could have just gone straight back to the stage. There was no need for it. He could have gone to the right side of the stage and been okay. And yeah, Sheer going Ness. This is this is message. actually one of Ness's best matchups because Yoshi doesn't really have a good approach against Ness because up till beats everything. Really? Okay. Yeah, up till yeah, is super that. good. It's like Kirby esque in this matchup. So, the thing about Nez, he's got his movement options are actually quite good against Yoshi, unlike his other matchups, and his up tilt combos to death against Yoshi. Yeah, that was an amazing combo. Did you see that? Yeah. Forward air, forward air tech chase into a, a standing down B. Nice. 
So how Nez works in this game, um, he's very mix-up heavy with his movement, so even though he doesn't have much range, if you time your double jump and attack in different like timings, you get different um, jump distances. And that's kind of how Nez, you have to play, you're forced to play Nez in this game basically. Otherwise yeah. he's too basic and you'll just get camped. But damn, this is not working out. Yeah, Ness is an extremely difficult character to play in this game. Even though it's not working out, thank you George and Sherry for donating $10. Yo. They say, hope this small donation helps a great cause. We're having a lot of fun watching the stream. Good guys, good job guys. Thank you so much. And <laughs> a tongue, it's like a taunt. But na 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 na. Finally, she gets an opening, but unfortunately, he doesn't get much off of it. He went for a tech taste on the top platform. I don't know why he would switch. I mean, I know it's a fun tournament, but like... Yeah, his Pikachu was doing so well. Man. Oh, no! Dude. SD. Just looks at him. Yeah, and you can see, like, he's having a hard time hitting his recovery angles with up B. He keeps getting turned around. And, like... Oh, break shield. Oh, let's go. Here comes the big one. So, um... The next combo you're meant to do, the B and B, that everyone knows, um, you do a, load, a few up airs, and then you end it with a neutral air to down air. Right, off stage. Yeah. Because uh, if you do a double jump cancel neutral air, and then you do the really long momentum double jump down air, uh, it'll go far enough to hit Yoshi off stage. Yeah. Or any character. Yeah, so there, there's a double jump cancel timing with Ness, where you, go, you just go like, yeah, you go way to the side. It like... It keeps all the momentum while he spins, while you do your attack, basically. And that's like, there's this key point that makes him not too bad. Yeah. But he's still, he's too obvious, that's his main problem. And, and his he, hitbox is yeah, not good. His range is really bad too, but we got Shiro going back to Pikachu. I don't blame him. <laughs> Was he trying to just like, do a down B right off the start? Oh, he tried that against me. <laughs> Did it hit you? It didn't hit me. <laughs> I was like, I see what you tried. But no. <laughs> like one of Wizzy's favorite things is like when the opponent comes back invincible, he double jumps above the top platform and then it does a down B. And it catches a lot of people actually. And we call it the Wiz Rope because no one else does anything like that. So Yoshi can just jump out, try and hit you, and just get back for free. It's crazy. What other character can do that? Yeah. Nice backer to forward air from Wizzy. Can take that first stock. Wizzy's definitely the kind of player that'll make you like first for trying to kill him when you're down. He definitely like takes advantage of those situations really well when you get yeah. desperate. Uh, there, Shear could have done a thunder. It wouldn't have gotten a kill, but it would have added some damage. It doesn't matter. Ooh. Oh, that was such good spacing. He committed so hard, and I guess. I guess Shemad is just new, because he plays Yoshi himself. He knew the situation and range of Yoshi. Yeah, like, it's really important to know where Yoshi can reach with his turnaround double jump cancel. Like, and it's really deceptive. As soon as Yoshi's in the air and floating for a second, you have to really respect the fact he can double jump at any time. Yeah. And it's, it's definitely one of the hardest matchups to learn, just because of that. Like, you have to understand what the Yoshi player is trying to do and think at the time and his options. That was a tricky up air. Nice teleport to avoid it. Um, the teleport has like a frame of invincibility, I think. It has a lot of invincibility. Yeah. Uh, so you'll frequently see Pikachu's use up B to escape combos. Because it's better than just dying. <laughs> All right, Wizzy now two stocks away from taking this tournament. Shout out to Ethan Nick the Weezer for donating $3. He says, loving the stream. Let's get a donation hype train going. Everybody dig deep for that change. Yo, man, let's get this reverse main character showdown going on the road. <laughs> yes. And let's get to the many re rewards beyond that. Let's get, the, let's get the sandstone dance. And also thanks to Chaos Link for donating $20. He says, this Ooh. donation is dedicated to my first time coming to the Smash the Record. I want to help support the cause for such an awesome event. So thank you, guys. Uh, that was such a masterful stock by Wizzy. Wizzy's just being explosive right now. She's so solid. Yeah, we got Sheer in his tournament stock. So this is it. Wizzy's like so solid in this game. Like way more than melee. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Look at this punish. Okay, he went for a weak neutral or a forward air, but he misses the weak neutral air. It's like so Amada esque, you know? Like the way Amada plays melee. It's like. Makes you feel bad if you make one mistake. Yeah, I never thought of it that way, but 
No, I'd say Eric. It's a good comparison. Yeah. Like the top three in 64, or like top five even, just like make you feel bad for making that mistake. They punish you so hard. Alright. At this point, many things will, will end, this, end the whole tournament. That could have been it. That was a really bad position for Pikachu. Yeah. See, she's trying to do a tech is the down air. Oh, nice. Doesn't quite get so, it. So, um, a lot of people don't know this in this game with Pikachu. If you let go of the analog when you teleport, it actually goes further. Oh, yeah. That, that's that's true. Yeah. And it's like, just try it yourself. Just load up 64 and then let go of the analog. But damn, that's it. Uh, yeah, congratulations to Wizro. Wizro taking solid, man. Yeah, taking, sure the, or taking smash the record. <laughs> yeah, dude. Solidly, for sure. I, I don't think he dropped a single game the whole tournament. So I was saying, um, if you let go of the analog stick when you upbeat with Pikachu, um, you keep your momentum. You don't just stop in the air. And like, it gives him...